now we have seen you know contents function how to use it okay so now we'll see the syntax so syntax of contents is what double slash because we are right, dealing with you know relative x path then tag name okay tag name you can write tag name then square bracket contents then you know inside contents function you have to write at the rate attribute comma then attribute value so as of now we have used you know text now attribute means any attribute i can pass and i can use this contents function okay so as of now we have seen the text okay so let's see for other things okay what and all other things which we can do so we'll just try to identify here okay i'll just try to identify here by using different different you know attributes using contents function and you know uh, we'll move further okay so these are the different way to you know write the x path so if you will be very good in x path since you are very good you know you can uh, means most of the part of this automation if you're using selenium web driver is you know finding the web element you know by using x path so if you know the different different way to identify the web element from by using you know id css or x path so that will be you know a great skills which you will be having as your automation tester so whenever you go for interview as well they'll ask like multiple x path how to write css okay so these are the common questions because in real time you have to deal with this x path only x path and css right so you should be very good in that okay so let's see how we can use contents using attribute okay attribute so same and i'll just try to identify this text or you know email or phone number field i'll just try to you know use this any of the attribute okay so i'll double slash then uh, input html tag is um, html tag is what input so i'll just write double slash input okay i'll just go there okay i just i want to identify this okay then uh, square bracket so contents i have to use okay contents done contents function i have to use i have done right in inside contents i have to use add the rate attribute okay so add the rate so what attribute i want to take so i can take anything so i'll suppose i'll take id okay id comma then i have to pass the id so id i can pass complete email see i'm going to pass complete email I'm able to identify so main thing is identification okay if you will be able to identify definitely it will work okay so if i see i'm deleting also something so now it is e m a i l i have deleted still i'm able to identify okay how we have identifying you uh, css uh, how I start with end with okay then uh, is using a star we have seen to uh, substring right so same thing in uh, you know using relative x path how we can achieve that okay so start with also you can use okay here you if you're using contents and i l email complete also you can use and if i'll start starting also if i delete so end with also you can use here okay e m or now i'll delete you know starting e also i'll delete and last i'll delete i l still m a is there still i'm able to identify means substring it will work like anything okay whatever id is there if i will pass partially id you know like starting or ending or in middle then also it will work like how it is working for complete path right so this is how we can use so same this is id okay now i'll just try with you know same thing i can try with you know class okay so i just have to change the attribute so now this time i'll try attribute with class so class is having what input text so i'll take complete text as of now complete text input text see i'm able to identify but i'll not pass complete text so if i'll partially if i'll also pass something see i'll be able to identify perfect so this is how this contents function will work okay so this is how we'll use with text and contents okay perfect so mainly text you will deal with text only and only if the text is there in web uh, document object model or else we can't use so we can go for attribute other attribute which is available and we can use contents and we can you know write our you know generic x path okay perfect so as of now this is how we are using okay so now we'll go for the next point this is uh, traversing in x path okay so how we can traverse 
from one location to another so we have two types of traversing one is forward and one is backward okay forward means from parent to child and uh, backward means child to parent okay so if you see this diagram it is a really you know absolute x path or relative x path so if i'm here so i want to go to tr from td i want to go to tr so backward traversing i'll use i'm i'm in tr i want to go for td so let's go to the real time scenario where actually i we have to go and do like this okay let's go and we'll see <clears throat> okay so if you'll see here we have something called you know female okay i want to select this radio button so this is also radio button this is also radio button this is also radio button okay so if i just select this radio button so suppose here we have something called id okay some id is there okay radio gender id is there some id num id is there okay now i'll use this mail so for this also some id is there but suppose id is not there okay id name nothing is there okay then you have to identify dynamically this radio button by identifying this okay so how to identify female radio button okay so what you will do first you will identify this text female then traverse back and then identify this button right so this is how in real time you should work okay so if you identify this female immediate node immediate previous node will be what this button radio button right always so if it is your application is like that that female sometimes this female uh, button will be this side so immediate forward okay immediate forward or next child right this is how you can go for okay so let's use this you know forward and backward traversing in real time to identify this wave element okay so first what i need to do i want to identify this radio button by help of this text okay so first what i need to do is to identify this text so let's identify this text by using text function okay so let's do it so first i need to check whether this is text or not so female yes this is text because it is in you know less than and greater than or angle open and angle close right so this is text so i can use the text so what is the html tag label so accordingly i'll use so label okay label square bracket so text text function is equal to what is that uh, written female female right so i'm able i'm able to identify this female text fields you can see so it is highlighting okay label so i am able to identify this female text field okay but i'm not interested in female text field i'm interested in where i am interested in you know selecting the female you know radio button not text so if you see as of now it is highlighting the text only here see it is highlighting only text but i want to by using this text i want to select the radio button of female so i have to go back okay so here where is the text where is that button so if you just mouse hover you see here previous just immediate previous okay radio button see radio button just see female so if you'll see here if i make my mouse cursor in html so this text will come now this point will come to here see so now my mouse is here if i'm pointing here see that it is coming to radio button so immediate after this you know this line immediate back okay immediate so immediate backward traversing we have to do okay so first tra first way of traversing we'll see so slash okay dot dot if i'll do slash dot dot that is back okay if again i'll give slash so in how you will use in you know unix command you know uh, double slash you'll do slash double double dot then it will go back uh, you know slash then something then it will go forward right in the same way we'll use here so but i have to use immediate back input okay so double slash slash input i just pass input see i am able to identify exactly what i'm looking for by using this text input right so this is how you can identify you know this female in runtime we'll see how we can you know automate this runtime i want to pass sometime female sometime male so i'll not write you know x path for female x path for male i will write dynamic uh, x path dynamic x path dynamic x path for you know this uh, gender i'll pass dynamic x path for gender so we'll see post this example how to you know do that that also so sometime you might have to pass some id or some value or some number dynamically at runtime from the script so how to deal with that that also we'll see post this example so as of now you know how to traverse back okay so if i'll use this i will be able to click on this so let's 
run this okay let's run this so I'll just try it here okay I'll just try here okay just paste it here I'll just try to click on that particular button so as of now this is a radio button radio button okay so I'll just try to click on that radio button perfect so radio button so I'll just run this so it will work perfectly let's see so it will launch the browser and I will be able to identify that see it will select the female radio button by using that text okay so I don't know no one thing is selected so I don't know nothing selected yes see perfect female is selected so this is how we can use traversing so as of now we have seen backward okay so let's go for forward traversing as well okay so for forward traversing suppose I want to select this time male so immediate after female suppose male is there I want to select you know male now so same as of now we are I'm just uh, giving you one example of traversing by using dot uh, dot dot and slash right we have something else called you know preceding and following so post this we'll see that also so as of now if I want to go to a spam I have to reach first here then I can move to the mail okay so I'll just remove this again I'll give dot dot <coughs> so I reach to this parent so now I have to move to this spam span to slash span and give two so this is forward i'm going now now i'm going forward now from this span i want to select this radio button so immediate input immediate next input so slash input perfect see now i'm able to identify male radio button by using what female so from here to here forward i'm going so this is forward traversing okay <clears throat> so in html dom i'm moving from forward forward direction if i'll go backward that is backward traversing so this is how normal traversing we can use by using slash and dot dot okay now next lecture we'll see how to use following and proceeding in real time okay because this dot and dot 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 and slash sometime again same thing like it is relative not relative but this is you know if something will change here so again it will break right because this is long process from here to here i have reached okay somehow female uh, radio button is correct because it is just immediate i can use it no problem but if i am trying to identify by female i want to follow the next proceeding means following it will not work I mean sometime if it will something will be changed so anyhow this will work definitely but if you want to you know if you want to go for so let me select this again I'll just pass this okay you can just try it out okay don't don't waste time so we'll just go for the next example so now you have seen how to you know go forward and move forward by using single slash and double slash now we'll see uh, by following and proceeding okay so see you in the next